All right, we're going to multiply mixed numbers. So to multiply f mixed numbers, your first step is to change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. That's your first step. So to do that, um, you're going to follow this method. So you're going to do 3 times 4, and then you're going to add 1. Same here. You're going to do 4 times 2, and then add 3. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. The denominator always stays the same. So that becomes the improper fraction. Next, same thing here. We're going to do 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 fourths, and then bring your sign down. Okay, next step is, is we're going to multiply across. The other thing I like to check also before I multiply across is I always like to check to see if I can cross simplify. But in this particular problem, if you look, I can't cross simplify because 3 and 11 don't have a common factor. And then the next thing I need to look at is um, 4 and 13. And 4 and 13 also don't have a common factor. So for this particular problem, I am not able to cross simplify. So I'm going to just multiply straight across. So to do that, what I mean is we're going to multiply like that. So I'm going to do 13 times 11, and 13 times 11 is 143. Next, I'm going to do 3 times 4, which is 12. So the next step is I need to change this improper fraction into a mixed number. So our third step is to um, change it back into a mixed number. And the way that I do that is you, you divide. So we're going to divide this. We're going to do 143 divided by 12, like this. So 12 goes into 14 one time, and 12 times 1 is 12 and then we're going to subtract that's 2 and then bring down and then we have to figure out how many times 12 goes into 23 and again it goes in one time and that becomes 12 because 12 times 1 is 12 and then we're going to do 23 minus 12 and you get 11. So now to make this into a mixed number, remember that this becomes the whole number, this becomes the numerator, and this becomes the denominator. So my answer is going to be 11 and 11 twelfths. Your final step always is to just double check and make sure that my answer is completely simplified. I know it's completely simplified because these two numbers do not have a common factor, which means only one will go into both of those. And 11 is also prime, which means it can't simplify anymore. So this is my final answer, 11 and 11 twelfths.